guys welcome back to our channel and today we are going to be moving so this is a little marigold little station i guess you can say we have about six marigold already planted i have some extra marigolds that i planted from the seed that need a new home they're ready to just come out of these cups so i will be finding a new place for those to kind of go around this marigold house station or whatever you want to call it so yeah i got one two three marigolds and uh that I need to go down with the other six and also I have a couple larger marigolds so these are my larger marigold that have kind of graduated from the trays to the cups to pots and I need to find a place for these to go as well oh I almost forgot I have two more marigolds seedling that are ready to go graduate to a cup so that eventually they can go in the marigold house as well <laughs> so yeah those are my other two babies that are ready to go to the marigold station so <clears throat> as you can see the wind is blowing pretty good and uh, we're getting ready to pot these plant these marigolds so one will go here one will go down right up in there and I'm trying to figure out if I can put one right up in here so we can have like marigold city right there and these will just be marigolds surrounding this tree that was cut down so yeah get our soil ready and we'll mulch around it and that'll pretty much give us what we need to complete our marigold station so my first step is to sprinkle my little plant food down in the plant hole you prepare the hole for these plants okay and you can just use a basic plant food a little granular soil I mean plant food yeah I do that Kind of mix it all down in there. Mix that plant for real good. And then you go and prepare your soil. I already dug my holes and I'm going to go ahead and put these babies down. And we will be right back. Cool. Alright guys. I have my soil. Ready to go. For mending the soil, like I say, just a little bit of plant food just to kind of get that dirt ready for these flowers can be very vigorous and healthy. So, my first thing I want to do take my plant, I put my two fingers like that, turn it upside down, give it a little pat, shake and twist all right look at those roots beautiful so we've already put our little plant food down in there now i'm going to put my soil around this plant to kind of make sure it's secure and tucked in all right that's plant number one next plant same thing put it between my fingers upside down give it a little tap twist and turn this one doesn't have a lot of roots but it will grow good so not to worry put it down in that hole take some of my good dirt 
She has a sister back here about the bud. A little dirt around her. And then we'll give her uh -oh, a nice little pat, pat, pat. Okay. Last one. See, that one is beautiful. It's gonna grow a nice, pretty color. A little stick, a little. Well, I know what these are, so I don't need to label anymore. Turn that baby upside down. Pat, pat, pat. Same thing. What system is beautiful? Put her down right there. Again, get that soil. Kind of build up a little base around her. Okay. And then we'll tap her down like so. And I'll take a little mulch. Spread this mulch around to kind of absorb the water really well for these plants. You can come over here. A little mulch around her. I'll even grab some mulch here and put it around Susie Q right here. <laughs> and um, these girls will be ready. See this this flower head has lived its life so I'll just let it die down there. See we got a couple buds coming for these new flowers. So this will be my little Mary Gold Station Heaven area. Now come right here. You guys remember this is mom so far. Remember when me and Spencer had that contest? So as you can see, raise up a little our um Sunflowers are that really tall. These are mine. Come on over here. Look at these Spencers. Okay. Spencer sunflowers are very tall. I remember Spencers. <laughs> I've mulched the area so that the weeds can kind of stay out the way. So next up with our marigolds, back to marigolds. We're going to water. We planted in mulch. We're going to water. Now marigolds don't like a lot of water over their heads because they the flowers tend to kind of get some kind of fungal disease so it's best to water those from the root to the bottom if you can and then they seem to do okay so let's count how many marigolds do we have we got one two three four five six seven i think this is two yeah eight marigolds right here and then we have me and Spencer's sunflowers I'll just put up the little picket skins just to give them an extra support because they're going to get who knows how many feet tall and might get five or ten feet tall so you just want to be prepared all right guys thanks for watching our channel on marigold planting we will be back and show you our growth later on. Bye. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you how I repot my seedlings straight from pea pots or the greenhouse trays. So step one, I have my marigolds. All right. So I'm gonna take off, it's grown from seed inside of this little peat pot. So I'm gonna rip this peat pot protection coating off. All right, so we already got my soil amended. I'm going to put my marigold inside of the pot and then go ahead and toss a little soil around it to secure it give it more room for root development and then when she grows strong and tall like her sisters she will graduate to the marigold station again i have one more marigold grown straight from seed into this little seed pea pot i'm going to tear the coating off now they grew in trays then See, she has a little root development. If they grew in trays, then I you know, already got my soil mended. If it grew in tray, then you would just pull it right out of that tray, place it in the center of your pot that you're gonna repot it to. The soil around her again to secure her. 
and give her room for root development. And then I'm going to place my little label, handy duty lady pool in there and she'll go back into the greenhouse until she's strong enough. Or she can sit out on the table until she's strong enough to go into the miracle station. All right guys, we're dirty and muddy. Thanks for watching.